Hey, look who's back. Welcome back to the good old Southern IA. Thanks for joining us again. The weather sticks up. And also the breeze has picked up for this second day of this hang vlog thing that we've got going on. The breeze is good. It's supposed to get warm today, but I think it's supposed to be overcast most of the day. The ground moisture is a little bit higher than I'd like it to be, but we should be able to still probably get this hay ready to go before the next rainstorm. Now, most of you that don't do hay, you probably maybe think, oh, you need sunshine and uh, heat to get the hay to dry. That's not necessarily true. Actually, sunshine and heat are probably about the two lower end of the deals that gets your hay to dry. What can get your hay to dry really well is to have really pretty dry dirt that the hay is laying on. That way it's not sucking up the moisture from the ground and continuing to keep the bottom side of the hay wet i guess you could say next few things is relative humidity that we have and we have really good relative humidity today i think it's down in the 60s somewhat we've got a good breeze which is also really good for drying out your hay and then kind of on the bottom end of the spectrum is the actual temperature of the day and the sunlight or not now if you could have a low humidity breezy sunny hot day with dry dirt that the hay is laying on talk about cooking some good conditions to put up some high quality hay we have moist ground uh, but other than that we're we're looking pretty good in yesterday's video that was put out yesterday and I'll link right up here and then also tomorrow's video which if you guys are a day behind will be out the next day yada 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 uh, dad and I went and we actually mowed down about 60 some odd acres of hay we're mowed down that hay. It's gonna try and get bailed up probably tomorrow. There's a slight chance. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. But the reason we targeted this hay field first is is that we are actually gonna be terminating this hay field uh, after a little while once we get some regrowth into there. But as soon as it gets baled and the bales get taken off of there, we are going to be putting no-tilled soybeans into that ground, which means no tillage, just plant the soybeans right into the ground. Uh, and then as it starts to grow up, we will terminate the hay crop off of it, have soybean crop this year. Next year, we are going to basically hit the reset button on this farm uh, and continue to row crop the acres that are in good row croppable conditions. And then we're also then gonna reseed to a high quality hay, uh, the parts that are a little more erosion prone. Anyways, this is kind of like a double win for the farm. A, we're going to be putting some acres into production for us. That's a, a really a pretty good deal, but those acres are not going to be highly erosion prone because of the fact that we're just going to farm the top of the hills essentially. And then we'll have a reset and have a good high quality hay for our customers that we can put into small square bales on the more erosion part of that farm uh, where the hay is getting weak or inconsistent. What we got to accomplish here today, I need to get the mower unhooked from that John Deere over there. That way I can get it hooked onto the rake so that the rake's ready to go, get the rake up to the hay field. It's got to get greased and make sure the tire pressures and everything else like that are okay on it. The inline hay trailer that we're going to be pulling the bales out of the field with right here uh, has a cracked battery on it where rocks like to jump up and then smack the battery. Cracks the battery, battery goes bad. I have a new battery for it already. I have had a new battery for it. I just haven't wanted to put the battery on there until I do a couple of modifications to it. I'm actually going to weld a mud flap right here that should protect that battery a little bit better. That's one thing that I want to try and accomplish today. And then last night when we got done mowing, dad and I had a conversation. Uh, basically it was uh, to Ted or not to Ted that is the question so we're going to evaluate that here in a little bit to see if we're going to Ted Tedding in theory gets you about half a day on your crop it's a little bit harder on the crop but uh, I think we might want that half a day anyways Andrew should be here at nine my dad should be here at nine Andrew's going to be bummed out that uh, we already mowed all that hay yesterday because he likes to mow hay Oh, and if you're wondering where you can get one of these really cool stickers at, it's in the link below. I'm going to gear up and try and have as much stuff done by the time they show up, and that way we can have the ball rolling. Pause, 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 pause. Yes, uh, which is actually the video that you guys are watching now is from yesterday, and uh, I noticed that I forgot to give away a sticker. 
If you guys are new to the channel, you didn't know, lately I've been giving away a sticker basically every video by being my favorite comment. I enjoy reading the comments. I respond to them as much as possible, but being as busy as we are right now, uh, I haven't had the chance to sit down and respond to all the comments, but I do read them all. And to win that sticker, all you gotta be is my favorite comment within the first 24 hours of a video being posted. To know when a video is being posted, just ring that little bell right next to the subscribe button. Anyways, the tractors and mowers are back here at the shop and today I'm gonna get ready to actually get ready to continue on with the process of hay, which you guys will see in tomorrow's video, which is what happens today. Anyways, this sticker comes from the video where my tractor breaks down and uh, I have to plant into the wee hours of the morning racing the rain which i about tie it there at the end to get another field planted and this sticker actually i'm going to give it away to uh his name is seth i'm going to butcher your last name but i'll probably get close it's i'm going to say it's alderman um he says when everyone is walking you should be running or i guess his grandpa says when everyone is walking you should be running and when everyone's running you should be walking my grandpa used to say good luck on what's left of plant 20 from clark county Thanks for the comment, Seth. That's actually a pretty good statement. It's kind of odd in farming. Every now and then when you go about against the grain, you might get ahead. But also, if you guys didn't know, I was doing a planting vlog and I am still doing a planting vlog for this 2020 series. I'll link all those videos up here where I was putting out a video every day that we were getting ready or putting the crops into the ground. During that series, I said, if I can get a video to 2,000 likes, and it's not if I can get a video, it's if you guys can get a video to 2,000 likes, I would give away one of my hats. It'd be a new one, not a dirty one like I got on my head right here. And I'll actually extend that into the short haying season or haying vlog because 2,000 video, 2,000 likes would really, really help out the channel. So hit that like button for us. And then just imagine every time you do, it's like giving Bandit a back scratch. Back to yesterday. Like I managed to drive more trucks than this I'm sorry, you couldn't wait for me. Yeah, we mowed all that hay yesterday. Mowed on a Saturday? No, yeah, mowed it all yesterday about noon. Did you take the tractor over Saturday? Yeah, we took one tractor over. I took the 4440 over. Awesome. Because that. Oh, is it rock time? Is it rock time? All right, one rock. I said one time. You don't watch your bucket and you tip it upside down and it falls off. So after a slight delay, I had to go get a uh, valve stem put into one of the rake tires. Andrew's taking the rake up to the hay field. I'm gonna take this to another farm. Uh, so it's ready to go planting after we put beans in it. The next chance we get a chance to go planting will be pretty much as soon as the hay crop is off. So down the road. So we're back out here in the hay field now. It's actually misting on us right now. 
Daddy turned on the windshield wipers as he pulled up. We were driving over here. Just to, like, if you guys can see that, like, that's a little band of sprinkles right there. The top of this hay is dried out okay. Kind of what I figured. The bottom of it's still kind of green. Uh, not horrible I mean it's still very tough very tough but the issue is going to be is it's going to stop kind of drying the bottom of it here soon and to illustrate this so see how this dirt is right here is black it's still got lots of moisture in it versus where it's been mowed it's quite a bit drier it's still pretty decently wet but if we can get the hay strung out on this it'll dry a little better it continues to like sprinkle on us like <laughs> you can't script this stuff guys you can't script it i mean yeah so I'm going to take a couple of minutes here and work on uh, this hay line trailer that's right out there. It's like a hay boss trailer or something like that. I can't remember the brand name of it. Mud flap welded onto it. Use the skid steer. Pull it in there. Make sure that that thing is ready to go when it's time for it to go. And then who knows if it clears up we might possibly do some tedding. If it doesn't clear up we probably won't do anything. Maybe mow some more. I mean mowing the hay wouldn't hurt right now. Flat bar. Weld the flat bar about like that. Weld the mud flap to the flat bar. Wood weld. Flat bar to it. That'd be alright. You need to put like a brace from there out to your end then. Yeah, I probably will. doing here is actually on this trailer twice now we've had I've had a rock or something like that jump up off the road and smack into my battery case right down here so we got smart and we're like hey, hey, hey let's stick a piece of wood in there right well what's the chances of it jumping up and it just smacked the hole in the bottom of that one right there obviously it's causing a rusting issue and something else that I'll have to take care of so I took one of the mud flaps that we find on the roads because we've got a lot of rock trucks because we're surrounded by quarries um, that have lost one of their mud flaps. So I just welded it to a flat bar. I'm going to take and weld that flat bar to this piece right here. Probably put some type of angle support on there. And then I'll most likely still try and find myself or probably cut it out of this plywood right here. Uh, another shim, replace that battery, and then this trailer will be ready to go. That's what we're trying to accomplish here because this trailer is the fastest way for us to get bales out of a field to a place where we can load them on semis and things of that nature. See why it wouldn't be straight enough. That's how they go onto the trucks. Okay, cut it. 
Okay. Nothing? Nothing. Try the back one. Got it? Yep. I'm gonna use the ether. Failure. Wayne Bridge got past the six. Yeah, I mean, what is it? No. After you put battery acid all over it with rock chips, it's like. Uh -huh. I'll tell one by yourself. This is challenging. Ooh, it breaks. Good. Yep. It's significantly more protected now. That should fix this thing up here in a lot better shape than it was to begin with, actually. With the new battery, we actually put some mud flat from when I did my dually build. I put that on front of the toolboxes and on the back of the toolboxes to kind of protect them from everything. We got that mud flap welded on there. Hopefully when it's going down the road, it kind of bends back a little bit, kind of like this here, and that'll make it pretty hard for things to bounce up and break that battery. Should be in a lot better shape now. Just needs to charge and then it'll be ready to go to work. So here's where we're at. The sun is finally shining upon us. Uh, the baler man will be around at about four o'clock or so. So we're gonna go grab a tether, ted some hay out for a little bit, then maybe possibly have a chance of doing a little baling here today because it's windy and sunny. We can dry something. However, I'm really darn sure I got to change this PTO over to a 540 and I want to make sure that I got hydraulic oil. Just, just held in with a snap ring. Because the tender is a 540 and this is a 1000 PTO. 540 means that it spins at 540 revolutions per minute at a certain engine RPMs. And 1,000 means it spins at 1,000 revolutions at a certain RPM. Yep. There's a flat spot or something that I wasn't paying attention to. Okay, girl. That's why you bring hydraulic oil when you do this.
it was about halfway in the safe zone and then I lost a little bit there during the PTO change so we'll give her three quarters of a gallon okay start it up no Making this very easy here, bud. Taylor man thinks we're still just a little bit too tough in terms of the hay, which he's built a lot of bales, so he's probably right. It looks a little tough raking it. We'll see what it, he, he's got a moisture sensor and everything on his baler. So we're going to let him see what it says. Yep, too wet. It's the right moisture if you're wet wrapping it? it might be, I don't know. <laughs> it started out pretty good and then before I got done it just it's above 30 because it goes to 30 and it said wet so yeah so the hay is running about 30 percent moisture when we want it to be closer to 18 percent moisture be ideal for us so we're pulling the plug essentially on baling hay today we'll just go after it again tomorrow i'm gonna go lose this rake and take this back to my shop hook back up to a mower and Andrew and I are gonna go mow another 20 acres A. See you then. Friday. We're gonna mow her all down. What? All the hay, we're mowing it all down. You are? Yeah, it's too tough right now, so we're gonna mow it down mow down the rest of this. They took the rain out of the forecast. So we're gonna mow it. Right now. Right now? Right now. Band it! He's been chasing cats all day, so I'm gonna leave him with you. He'll probably be asleep in about 10 minutes.
guys, that's going to finish it for the mowing. I think we, yeah, we did about 20 some odd more acres. But before we go, I got to give my way my sticker for the day. If you guys didn't know, uh, I've been giving away a sticker just about every video, if unless I forget about it, just by being my favorite comment within 24 hours. So if you subscribe and then you ring the little bit be litty, little bell next to the subscribe button, they'll let you know when I post a video. And then that gives you the chance to be my favorite comment within 24 hours, and I'll send you a Bandit the Bandit sticker. On top of that, we are getting close to 25,000 subscribers, and when we do this, I'll be giving away a hat and maybe something else along those lines. And if you guys have been watching a lot, you know that we've been doing actually a planting vlog, which if we can get the hay put up, the planting vlog might be coming to an end here really, really darn soon. And it might actually be like a combination of planting and haying vlog. And I, uh, I'm going to carry that over. Essentially, I said at the beginning of the planting season, if we reach 2,000 likes on one of the videos, I'd give away a hat. So we're going to be doing that too. And that's up to you guys to reach us to uh, 2,000 likes. And that help out the video quite a bit. Andrew's starting to get tired of giving Bandit so many back scratches. All in all, we had a had a pretty good day i don't even know if they can see you anymore now it's getting dark on us pretty quick so um tomorrow if i have a black eye i caught a backswing on a hammer it's not that i'm going to be winking at you <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow don't break your teeth on a rock nope. <laughs> now you can't find it